Hey guys, Megan here from the blog Growing Up Herbal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then I thank you guys so very much for stopping by. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then I appreciate you coming back and watching another one. Either way, I hope you enjoy today's video. So in today's video, I'm welcoming you into my messy kitchen and I thought it would be fun to do a kitchen clean with me kind of vlog today. So it's Monday and if you have been watching my videos or following me on my blog for a while, you'll know that on Mondays, my kids have like what I call an extra day at school. So I homeschool and on Mondays we only do math, spelling, and piano. It's like the bare basics. We do a four day school week. So Mondays are extra day. We just kind of do a couple of little extra things that day. So with that said, they have played all day long in the house. They made a chocolate cake today. Um, so my sink is full of dirty dishes. My dishwasher is filled with dishes. They made breakfast this morning and so there's stuff on the stove. There's like cake crumbs and icing all over the kitchen. Um, I had a bottle of water keeper kind of leak the other day in my fridge and so my fridge is dirty so I thought um, while Dean has the boys at piano tonight I thought this would be the perfect time to clean my kitchen. Not only do I feel better when my house is clean. I mean I'm not like a clean freak like I, it doesn't have to be spotless or whatever because with four boys, it's never gonna be that way. But I do like it kind of cleaned up because it makes me feel, um, just makes me feel better. Less chaotic, right? Okay, so I thought I would make a list of all the different things that I wanna clean in the kitchen. And then I'll show you that list and I will show you the different cleaning supplies that I'm gonna use for different areas. Don't worry, it's not a ton of stuff. I like to keep things really simple and natural. So everything's really basic. Um, and then we'll just start at the top of the list and kind of clean and go through everything. I'll speed up the cleaning so that you're not watching um, a 30 minute video of me cleaning my kitchen. Um, and I'll probably stop here and there and chit chat. Hopefully it won't be 30 minutes. I do like to talk a little bit, but you know, we'll see. Anyway, let me grab the camera. I'm gonna flip you guys around and I'm going to, oh, choking right now. <laughs> I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you the kitchen and show you all of the dirty mess that my kids have made. Yeah, it's them. I'm blaming them. My kids. Yeah. There's the cake. There's the cake crumbs and icing crumbs and, you know, mess in the floor. And actually, I was looking at my fridge and my freezer and look, there's a plop of icing right there. Little fingerprints and dirt all over the ice maker. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Ugh. Clutter, clutter, clutter. The boys use the KitchenAid, so it's kind of, yeah, dirty. I think I actually did wipe this. I should have left it, but there was like chocolate splatter everywhere. Yeah, dirty dishes in the sink, dirty rag, all that stuff. Lance, they're, they're okay. Anyway, floor is dirty. I'll show you the inside of my fridge really quick because I spilled something the other day. It needs cleaned anyway, but let's see if you guys can see this. That right there, that's from Waterkeeper, like spilling and it leaks under this rim and then all back in there. So I have to take everything out and take this big glass thing out. Like everything has to come out to clean that. Anyway, so yeah, there are little spills here and there and it's just, just kind of dirty in here. All right. So let's clean this messy kitchen. Actually, first, let me show you the list of everything we're gonna do. Okay, friends, so I have my list of all the things that I'm going to clean today in the kitchen, and I'm gonna read through those, and then I'm quickly gonna show you what I use to clean the kitchen with. So first, I'm going to dust the tops of my kitchen cabinets. I have antiques up there, and um, they get dusty, and spider webs get built up there, so I'm just gonna dust that really quick. I'm going to unload the dishwasher and then reload it with the dishes in my sink and I'm gonna clean anything that I need to clean by hand and wash my sink out really well. Um, I'm gonna clean my stove top. I'm going to clean the inside of the fridge. I'm not gonna do a real thorough cleaning of the fridge. I'm just really wanting, wanting to clean up where that water keeper spilled because I cleaned the fridge really well a couple of weeks ago, I think. I can't remember. Um, but I just want to get that spill cleaned up and kind of give it a wipe down. Um, I'm going to wipe all the appliances down. 
I am going to wipe the cabinets where needed and wipe off all the countertops, meaning I'm gonna move all my stuff out, wipe the countertops, put those away. I'm also going to wipe down the backsplash. Now the backsplash is, um, we have not done our backsplash yet. I keep forgetting to order the tile and my husband will not be able to do the backsplash if I don't pick the tile and order it. <laughs> and I keep forgetting, so this is the old backsplash. Um, and so I'm just gonna wipe it down. It's stained and it's dirty in certain places, so it's not gonna come completely clean, but that's okay, just gonna wipe that down. Um, I'm also going to vacuum the floor and like, shake my rug out. Actually, I think I'll wash the rug. It looks pretty dirty. I'm gonna wash that um, and then I'll vacuum and I will kind of um, spot clean the floor. Like if there's anything stuck on it or dirty, I'll just spot, spot clean that. And I'm also going to clean this um, vent on the stove because it needs cleaned. And I think that's everything on my list. And um, if, like I said, if I forget something or as I'm cleaning, I come across something that I need to do, um, I'll add it to the bottom of the list. So let me show you what I'm cleaning with today. There is actually one thing I forgot to get out, but I'll tell you that in a second, if I don't forget. So to dust, I use this wool duster. Yes, see, very pretty. Has some dust in there. <laughs> it's uh, it's from Sheep, Sheep Wool. And I think I got it off Amazon. I'll link to it in the description box below. I love this thing. I have used it for years. Um, it does a really great job. And it's, it's so easy to care for. Like if it gets dirty, you just kind of knock the dust off. You can twist it like this to fluff it up and it flings stuff out then just vacuum your floor and get it all up. Um, if it gets really dirty, they do make like a, like a wash, like a shampoo for this, the company that I bought it from, and you can find that on their Amazon channel as well, but I use this um, to dust with. I use a Shark vacuum cleaner for all of my vacuuming, carpets, hardwood floors, everything. I love it, it does really great. The only thing that this doesn't do is it doesn't lay flat enough to get under my bed. Well, it does lay flat enough, but it's too big. So I actually need to buy like a little one that will lay flat and go under my bed because my bed's kind of low and I need something to clean the carpet, the rug that I just bought to go under my bed. Um, as far as the majority of cleaning goes, like washing out the sink, wiping the cabinets and the counters down, cleaning the outside of the appliances, I just use soap and water. And I use these junky little rags from Walmart. They're just white Walmart brand, I guess. Cleaning cloths. Um, method soap. Just squirt that in there. Some warm water, nice and sudsy. And then I just wipe everything in the kitchen down with that. Um, I use this Branch Basics. This is their all-purpose cleaner. I use this when I'm cleaning my stove top because it can be greasy. And I like to use this. And then whenever I'm cleaning my cabinets and I'm I'm cleaning the knobs here where we touch all the time or like the handles of the appliances. This has some of the, it's like the Thieves essential oil blend added to it, but it's not, I think it's called Four Thieves. I get it from Eden's Garden or sometimes I'll get, um, I think it's called Germ Destroyer from Plant Therapy. I'm not sure on those names, but Plant Therapy, Eden's Garden, those are my favorite places to get essential oils. I add them to my Branch Basics cleaners. This is what I use almost to clean my entire house. There are different uh, ones you can use. This is the all-purpose for the kitchen. There's a bathroom and a glass cleaner and all kinds of other little things. Um, it's, a, it's a cleaning, like a plant and mineral-based concentrate and you mix it with water at different dilutions to clean different areas. But this is it for the kitchen. Um, and then I have a little microfiber towel that I use. Just spray this on there. And then wipe the counters down or the wipe the knobs down um coffee pot just different things like that um light switches whatever that i feel like we touch a lot and i want some disinfecting from that um, essential oil or just some antibacterial stuff from that essential oil on there so that's pretty much it now one thing that i do want to tell you i have a quartz sink and it gets stained a little bit and the only thing that will bring those stains out is a magic eraser so I forgot to get that out I do have a magic eraser so I will wash the sink out with my hot soapy water and if there are stains or like if I'm cleaning the tops of my um, I don't know what this is called of my stove and it like rubs on the bottom of the sink it'll leave like a black line and the magic eraser will take all of that out it does erase all of the stuff from the sink so that's what I will use to clean that but essentially that's it 
the wool duster, the soap and water, and then this Branch Basics all-purpose cleaner and my vacuum cleaner, and the entire kitchen will be clean and I will be a happy woman again. So let's get started with the dusting.
as you can see, my list is all checked off. There's only one thing that I forgot to put on my list and I totally forgot to do it and I'm not gonna go back and do it. I'll just clean it a different day and that was to open up the cabinet where we keep our microwave and clean the microwave out. We don't use it all that much just to kind of reheat some things here and there or heat up like rice packs or whatever, um, but it does get dirty in there and I forgot all about that because it's hidden behind the cabinet door. So anyway, the kitchen is fairly clean. I have to grab all of my rags and put them in the laundry pile and let everything dry and get my rug washed and then I'll put it back out here. But that was pretty much it. It took me about an hour, but that was with videoing. So I think it would normally take me about 30 minutes to kind of do what I did tonight, uh, maybe 45. Um, so anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's kitchen clean with me vlog. And if you have any questions about anything that I've said or anything you've seen in today's video, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.